prostatectomy, or what's called radical prostatectomy, is the removal of the entire prostate gland and accessory glands called seminal vesicles. These are attached to the prostate gland. In a standard way, this is done with a large incision going from the belly button down to the pubic bone. With robotic surgery, this is done with five small incisions, all about a quarter to a half inch in size, and that allows the robotic instruments inside the body to remove the prostate. So the same operation is done robotically as is done with open surgery. It's just done with smaller incisions. The procedure of prostatectomy really involves first putting five small incisions in the body, putting the robotic arms inside the body. We then separate the prostate from the bladder, and then we separate the prostate from the tube that you urinate through called the urethra. The prostate's actually placed in a plastic bag, an impermeable bag, and it's brought out through a small incision above the belly button, so it's brought out whole. And the reason we want to have it brought out whole is we want to have the pathologic analysis of the prostate gland, and that's best done when the organ is completely intact. And then we simply sew the urethra back to the bladder, and we do that over a catheter, and that catheter stays in for about seven to eight days. We close up the incisions, and that's really the steps of the operation. The pathologic analysis of the prostate is when the prostate is looked at under the microscope. And this is done very carefully and very specifically with a pathologist who's a doctor who assesses the prostate for cancer. And the point of this analysis is to tell us exactly where the cancer is in relation to the outside of the prostate. And that's a major advantage of surgery is that we gain information with regard to where the cancer is. Before surgery, the cancer information we have is based on the biopsy, which is only a few small snippets of tissue from the prostate. So we really don't get the full picture on prostate cancer until it's completely evaluated. But once the prostate's removed, looked at by the pathologist, we know how much cancer there is, where it's located, and most importantly, was it contained within the prostate. That's information that's helpful in guiding us with regard to further treatment in the future or whether we can be comfortable with just following the PSA blood test after surgery.